All right, guys, still here working on this wall drills, okay? Last two days, I went over the cross and the hook off the wall. You can also use the wall for your kicks, okay? A lot of people think a kick is like this. It's that snapping. Maybe in karate or taekwondo, where they're mainly point fighting. When you're doing mixed martial arts or Muay Thai, you gotta use your hips a lot. A lot of power comes from the hips, okay? But a lot of people's problems when they kick is they bend over. They bend over at the hips and they're kicking in this position. Once my body comes this way, I can't ice turn my hips in anymore, okay? My body has to be kind of straight up for me to get that hip turn, right? So when you kick up against the wall, if you lean forward and you do this, you're gonna bang your head on the wall, right? So it's a good spot to practice keeping your body in line. I always tell my clients, you can't hammer a bent nail, okay? Just try and keep yourself in a straight line. Whether it's a switch kick or a swing kick, when I turn myself around and I pivot up the wall, I wanna use that wall to make sure my body's in line. Then I can turn my hip in, all right? My head is over here, I have a hard time turning my hip in, trying to keep myself straight. So a switch kick or a swing kick, keeping yourself close to that wall is gonna stop you from bending forward and allow you to use that hip a lot more. It's just gonna create a lot more power in your kick, all right? Give that a try, guys. Come up against the wall, turn, fire the kick. You don't have to release the kick. Just learn to pivot and try and keep your body straight. Once you get in this position, you can try and turn that hip in, okay? Give that a try, guys. Write in the comments below, let me know how it goes for you.